Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm doing a season review for the Saddlers in Skybet League 2 for the 2020-21 season. It's been an awful season and I want to forget um, for all Saddlers fans, um, obviously the lowest finish in the Football League, um, finishing 19th which is a, um, not great um, to look at and we got to go again next season, I'll go into more of that later on in the video. A little summary of the season and the key events. Um, we started the season quite well. 1-0 win at home to Bloomfield Town. Then we got a draw, a 2-2 draw on our first away game against Harrogate Town. Then we went 8 or 9 games unbeaten 2 at the start of the season. First defeat was against Cambridge United who have just got promoted to Skybet League 2. And then November wasn't a great month. Some terrible performances in there. And yeah, December was much better though. Four wins in a row which climbed us up to 8th in the league. The four wins in a row with teams against Port Vale, Tranmere, Bolton and Oldham Athletic. We had to play Salford City on Boxing Day. Um, we got a 2-0 defeat. Who They were fit, sitting in 7th, level on points with us. Um, January, the key result in that month was probably the 3-1 victory against Port Vale on the 23rd of January. Um, yeah, Adebayo scoring two goals in that game. That would have been... That would have been his last game for the Southlers too. Obviously, he left to Luton Town. Also, Zach Jules' last game as he left to MK Dons. Also, Darrell Clark left in that month to Port Vale. Um, but yeah, and then Brian Dutton took over. He's only won three games as uh, manager. And yeah, the wins have been against Scunthorpe United, Tramia Rovers and Forest Green Rovers. Uh, March wasn't a great month. I don't think we've won in the whole of that month too. Picking up some bad um, results against Barrow. Uh, I think at the end of that month, we're looking doomed um, to be um, slipping down the league. Um, I think it was only six points off safe end at the time. We picked up ourselves up, like I mentioned. We got wins against Forest Green Rovers and Tramia Rovers. Um, and just about managed to stay in the league. Um, obviously, we confirmed that against Scunthorpe United in our 2 0 victory. Then in May, we've picked up. Um, a loss against Morecambe and a draw today against Carlisle United, which was an absolutely shocking game. Um, not many chances in the game, low, not much quality too, and yeah. But yeah, on to next season now. We don't even know who's going to be manager yet. Um, like Brian Dutton says, his future is very cloudy at the moment. Um, let me know what you think if you think Do uh, Brian Dutton should be manager next season. I'm, a, I'm unsure. If you're going off um, results, I don't think he should be manager. Three wins out of 20, that's not good enough. But he's brought in players like Sam Perry um, and Tom Leake. But yeah, I think um, Jamie Fullerton will get in a manager. Um, there has been speculation since he's come in that Brian Dunn won't get the job. I think Lee Pomlick does like his style. Um, but I think Jamie um, Fullerton will bring in his own manager and I think he'll bring in his own players. It's a massive summer for the Saddlers coming up. Um, players like Josh Gordon, Wes McDonald, Keelan Lavery. There's lots of players out of contract. And I don't think we should keep many of them. The only players I'd probably keep, um, I'd like to Tom Leake, um, Joe Willis. I think he deserves a chance. Hayden White, I think, would be useful next season. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of players departing. I think there's going to be a lot of players coming into the club. Um, but yeah, we go again next season. We say it every season, but um, thank, thank you for um, the support on the channel this season, and thank um, this season is over because it's been a painful watch for most games. We've drawn the most games in League Two, twenty games, which is just under half of the games in League Two. Um, I think we've only lost fifteen two, which would have put us around mid table. Um, we just needed to win a few more games, but the performances hasn't been great. Um, we can't score goals, and we've found out without Rory Holden, we can't win games. I think we've only won two games without him, which is not great. But yeah, thank you, like I said. Thank you for all the support on the channel this season. I appreciate it. Um, on to next season, the 2021-22 season. Hopefully, that's a better one, and hopefully, even the grounds next season, um, because we um, need that um, for most clubs too. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, the video and thanks for the support if you've enjoyed it please leave a like also subscribe to the channel if you're new leave your comments and thoughts on the season this season and up the saddlers